I know there's easier ways probably to cut corn. They have special um, boards with uh, cutters on it to cut the corn, but I don't like doing it that way. I get a deep bowl, a little bowl, and I take the bowl, turn it upside down. I said I have about 100 ears of corn, and I do the, I guess it's preference, but I always put the pointy, uh, smaller tip down, sharp knife. That way the corn falls down into the bowl and not over the table or goes right down in. Oops, this is a good spot right there. There you go. Just start from the top, saw your way down. You need a good sharp knife. I think my daughter gave me a fillet knife and that worked really nice. But the whole goal is not to cut too deep into the corn. I like to do it what's just kind of like this. I think it's perfect when you're able to cut it. You just cut enough off because you don't want to cut too deep into the corn and lose all the juice, but yet you don't want to cut into the cob either. So to break some of these pieces up, then I go back and just kind of break it up here. when you put it in your canner you want to make sure everything is equal like in thickness because of the heat and the processing this is what I have here today I ended up with um, five of these bowls of uh, big bowls of corn to can okay now it's time to uh, go put them in the jars Check out my video on sterilizing jar. I'll leave it in the description down below. So let's go ahead and get started with the corn. Um, like I said, I've already got my jars sterilized here. Then I have a pan here. The reason for that pan there, this is sterilized water that I'm going to be pouring in my corn in the jars. So I'm going to go ahead and save that water here. And I only do four jars at a time. I like to keep everything good and hot. Like I said, I like to keep everything hot, so I always put my lid back on so those jars stay hot. All right, my next step here. I fill these jars up. Don't uh, just shake it down gently. You just knead it up to the top, to the uh, bottom rim here. The jars are good and hot. Now this is cold packing corn, so this corn is room temperature. I just uh, pulled it off the vines last night, and uh, we uh, hauled the kernels this morning. And I shake them. Don't 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 pack them in. Now I use Himalaya salt. I don't use a whole lot of salt. Use your salt is your own preference. I only use an eighth of a teaspoon, and that's because we use this corn for a lot of different recipes that might already have salt in it. You can do it without salt, but I don't put a whole lot of salt in. Now the next thing I do, now we're going to fill the jars up. It's okay that the corn, this is hot water that I poured out of the jars. So you already got your sterile water. Again,
again, fill them half an inch from the top. Now we debubble, we get all the bubbles out. I usually go down in the middle first, kind of loosen it up a little. And just tip it back so you don't see any more bubbles come up. It's important that you uh, do this. Make sure your bubbles are out. And we wipe the lids off. Now usually with vegetables they do have starch so you do need to clean the lids off and uh, everybody has their own preference on what they think that, uh, not the lids, the, um, the jar tops. So everybody has their preference on what they uh, want to use. I like with vegetables and that just to use a nice uh, hot uh, damp uh, cloth. And uh, when I uh, put these in the canner, when I start the canner up, I'll show you how I don't lose much water. There's a trick, I've been doing this for over 40 years, and so not much water ciphers out of my jars. Again, put these on. A little snug, not not just finger tight is all you need. Just like I said, finger tight. Just like that. Okay? A few little tricks. I take my rubber seal, I got some hot water, and I let this soak down in the hot water as I'm loading my uh, canner up. The reason why I, I soak the seal uh, rubber it will expand and sometimes if you put it on your lids it takes a while for the um, rubber to expand to get a good seal so this way it uh, heats it up faster or it gets the pressure built up faster so what we're going to do uh, let me go ahead and get these jars in Alright, um, the other thing that I'm going to show you that I do in the jars, sometimes these jars, after you can, they come out, they have a milky residue on the outside, like a film. All you need is a little bit of vinegar and probably about a half, uh, about a half a teaspoon, or that's all you need in that water. And that'll keep that white film on the outside of your jars. Now I'm going to bring this seal, I'm, it's been soaking for about five minutes because like I said, rubber will expand. So it makes it uh, go quicker with the pressure building up. It seals quicker. So just put your band around it. Again, you know, I'm talking four, 40 years of canning. This is what has worked. Don't ask me the science behind anything. I couldn't tell you that. Alrighty. Then we put our seal on, our, our lid on. There we go. Now, the other thing is that the other thing that I've been doing for over 40 years, again, this is my canner, so I don't know what your canner does, but um, I don't put the heat up high to try to build the pressure up in here. I put it like a medium high. I build it up slow. And again, that's what's always worked for me, so I'll build it up slow until the steam starts coming out. Once the steam starts coming out, then you got to um, let it out for 10 minutes. My 10 minutes is up where the steam's coming out, so we're gonna put the corn at uh, 10 pounds pressure. I, I prefer this type of a, uh, uh, a weight from my canner than the uh, ones with the dials. The ones with the dials, you gotta take them every year and have them uh, checked out to make sure you know that's all correct. Here you go. So put that on, and then again, it's sealed up really good, so it go quick. Once it starts jiggling, then we will process this for um, 25 minutes. This is about, for this type of canner with the weight on it that I want, 
for the jiggling here. It's just a gentle jiggle, and then a stop. So and if it's going any more than this, then turn the temperature down little by little until you get this approximately like this. So, um, okay, I'm happy with it. <laughs> okay, now we're going to do this for 25 minutes. I just noticed that the camera, you can see the scratch going across my face here. So, what happened was I have um, one chicken that will not go in the roost at night and it hides in the bushes. So I went out last night, opened up the bush, and scared us both. The thing come out and decided to crawl up my face to get out. So, it's the life of owning chickens. <laughs> After your 25 minutes is up, whatever your time, then shut the fire off and leave it sit. Leave it sit and usually like I will tap the, let's see this is already off. But I will tap it, and you'll know when there's when the pressure's all gone. Remove it. Don't take it off like this immediately. We're talking about hot air. You can break jars. I've been doing this for 40 years. I've learned the hard way. There was no YouTube channels to teach me. <laughs> so, and uh, so just take it off. Leave it a little bit of cracks, and I usually leave it for about 10 minutes like this. And once I leave it for 10 minutes. Then I will lift the can or lid up, take it off, and then I will leave it sit here for another 10 minutes before I remove them from the jars. By doing that, you're not going to lose, for all the steps I took you from the beginning about slowly building up your pressure, and if you put the right amount, as, as your instructions say, in the jars, you won't have water ciphering out of this. Very rare do I have water ciphering out of my stuff. Let me get you a, a close up. If you do all the steps I tell you from the beginning about slowly building your pressure up, you can see here, my water is still I'm all the way up here. I did not lose no water. My water level is above the jars. Like I said, I've been canning for over 40 years and I didn't have the YouTube channel to uh, help me out. It's all trial and area. And some, you know, and I did listen to my mom <laughs> who got me started. But, um, you know, like take those steps, be patient, take your time and canning, it's well worth it. So, you know, like I said, you see all the water is still in my jars. All right, guys, take care.